Hello! Today on It Is A Keeper, I'm showing you how to select a fresh pineapple and cut it down easily. Fresh pineapple is so much more flavorful than the canned version. Plus, it's a lot more economical than buying it already prepared at the grocery store. But it can be intimidating. So you'll see though that with a few quick steps, you can easily break a pineapple down on your own. So let me show you how. First thing you need to know is how to select a fresh pineapple. Because let's face it, you can't see or smell what's inside of this hard skin without cutting it open. So when you're at the grocery store, there are a couple things you can do to test if a pineapple's fresh. The first thing you want to do is flip it over. And you want to give a sniff at the bottom, the base of the pineapple, and it should smell fresh. If it smells like a fresh pineapple, that means it's probably ripe and ready to be used. So give it a good, good smell, so we are, we're good there. Next thing you want to do to test if a pineapple's fresh is check these spiky fronds up at the top. Just give a tug, and if it comes out easily, like that one did, it's fresh. It'll release that frond, and then you know that it's ready to, to be eaten. So that's pretty much two quick ways you can tell if a pineapple is fresh when you're at the grocery store. So now let's talk about breaking it down a bit. There's a couple quick steps, and the one thing you need is a good sharp knife. So the first thing you want to do is lay it on its side, and we're going to slice off the top. Set that aside, and then we're going to flip it over, and we're going to slice a little bit off the bottom. And that's if you have a nice, even base to stamp the pineapple up. Now, the bottom is just trash. You can throw that away. You can hang on to this top if you're doing a fruit salad or some kind of fruit platter and you want to use this as garnish. It makes a cute garnish, so you can save it if you want. If not, it's just trash. We'll throw it away. So now we need to get all of these eyes and this hard skin off of it to really get into the good part of the pineapple, that juicy, sweet interior. So we're just going to take our knife and going to run it down the side of the pineapple. And we're trying to get these eyes out of here along with the green. So we're just going to trim it right down, just keep spinning the pineapple and slicing as we go. We can do finishing work when we're done. So I'm just trying to get the bulk of the that skin off, that hard skin. And be careful with your knife here because it does get pineapple does get slippery. And now we're just going to go through and trim off any extra of these eyes that you see. Because what will happen is that's where it will start to go back. Just if you have any of these eyes left on here. So I just try to, to trim the bigger ones off there. And if you have any green left on, you're going to want to try to take that off as well. Okay, so just a couple more quick things to do and you'll be ready to enjoy this pineapple. Now if you look at the front of the pineapple, you're going to see there's a core in there. And that is really um, fibrous and hard and just not enjoyable to eat. So we want to get rid of that. It's very easy to do. We're just going to cut the pineapple in half, setting one half aside. And this other half we're going to cut in half again. So we're going to cut it into quarters. And then you can kind of see that hard core right there. And just like we would core an apple, you're just going to go in at an angle, five degree angle from each side, and the core just pops right out. So we'll do it again to this side, in at a 45 degree angle, and it pops right out. So then all that's left to do is to cut this pineapple down into bite-sized chunks. So I'm just going to cut each of these into three sections it up into chunks. And that's it. That's how easy and quick and simple it is to cut down an entire pineapple. It literally took me five minutes and that was me explaining everything to you and talking through it. It can be done in no time and this pineapple is so much sweeter and so much more fresh than anything you can buy either in a can or already cut down in the grocery store. Now if you do want those perfect pineapple rings, like uh, maybe for a ham or something like that, they do make tools that you can buy. And I'll put a link in the video description below and you can just use that tool and it kind of goes in like a corkscrew and will cut that core right out of the center and give you perfect rings that you can use in your recipes. 
Thanks for watching. You can get the full instructions on the video description below. Make sure you like, follow, and subscribe so you don't miss a single thing. And check out the rest of my videos where you can find more of my favorite easy recipes and quick tips. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.